hello guys welcome back to my channel if you are old yet thanks and if you are new here please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified anytime i upload a new video today i'm going to show you how to design a birthday flyer like this using adobe photoshop without any further ado let's get started here i'm using 4 by 4 inches or you can also use 1080 by 1080 for social media instagram and other so now let's get started select your test tool then i'm going to copy my test from here ctrl plus c to copy then ctrl plus v to paste and i'm going to change the font color to this color here so this is the color code i'm going to copy it then ctrl plus v to paste and the font i'm using here is mozzarella then i'm going to make it semi bold then increase the font size something this way all right then I will apply a drop shadow so you can see the setting here I'm using multiply for the blend mode and the opacity is 100 percent the angle 90 and the distance is 11 then spread for and the size is 4 and this is the color I'm using for the shadow you can see the color code here c7 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 then click ok and after this one the next thing i'm going to bring the image then drag it in and i'm going to reduce the size something like this it's okay now come over here and i'm going to select this ellipse to hold your shift key then while you drag it then take it back ctrl plus a apply vertical alignment ctrl plus d to deselect then select the image ctrl plus a now apply vertical alignment ctrl plus d to deselect then click on the rent angle uh, i mean the cycle then increase the size this way it's too much i'm going to reduce it this way why i will reduce the image size then i'm going to use this color code here ctrl plus c to copy then ctrl plus v to paste then drag it up over here now duplicate it ctrl plus j to duplicate then come over here to copy this color code then ctrl plus v to paste then hold your alt key while you reduce the size something like this is okay all right now i'm going to select a rent angle then i'll draw a rent angle over here then i will turn this one off why i will come over here then drag it to create a shape i will use 120 120 over here then come over here then also put 120 so this is the outcome of it Now I'm going to select this color code Ctrl plus C to copy, then Ctrl plus V to paste. Increase the opacity to 100%. Then 
then I'm going to select the color somewhere around here like this okay then after this one then I'm going to select my cycle at least to then hold your shift key to draw a perfect circle like this then I'm going to copy a color from here then I will duplicate it ctrl plus J to duplicate then hold your alt key while you reduce the size like this then I will open it then apply this color here all right so what i'll do now i'm going to duplicate this image ctrl plus j or you drag it over here to duplicate it then reduce the size then bring it over here then right click to create a clipping mask something like this then now i'm going to select this one and group it all together then i'm going to reduce this one this way it's okay like this all right after this one now so the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to draw a rent angle like this then select click here then drag it up so okay like this then come over here then you copy this color code then ctrl plus v to paste then duplicate it ctrl plus j then the first one here i'm going to drag it bring it down this way is okay then i'm we go back to my test document to copy this color then apply this color to this one now what i'm going to do now i'm going to reduce this size then reduce the size this way then increase the size of this one then use your arrow key to bring it down something like this so if you want then you can increase it a little it's okay i'm going to leave it this way it's okay like this all right now click on this one and i'm going to bring in this background here then scale it bring it down this way it's okay now i'm going to change it to multiply then leave the opacity by 100 percent then right click and create a clipping mask then this is what you will have here select that particular image and I'm going to blur it. Select filter, then blur, Gaussian blur. Then I'm going to use 9.2. Then I'll click OK. Then this is the final outcome of it. All right. Now go back to your background. Then I'm going to import this background here then scale it out so okay like this all right then i will leave it this way then go back again and i will bring this golden vector here then take it up then i'll position it around here then go to your filter blur gaussian blur and I'm going to make it 4.4 then it's okay like this so now 
having done this one the next thing i'm going to do now i'm going to select my test tool then i will type plus one something like this then i will bring it over here then change the font color to white then make the font bold then i will duplicate it ctrl plus j then highlight it then i will copy this text here ctrl plus v to paste now increase the size then also duplicate it ctrl plus j you bring this one down select your test tool then come over here to copy ctrl plus c to copy then ctrl plus v to paste then reduce this font size just like this then select the tool later then increase the font size all right so something like this having done this one the next thing i'm going to do now then i'm going to then copy this name here ctrl plus c to copy then select your test tool then ctrl plus v to paste now i'm going to increase the size Then Ctrl plus A to highlight it, then apply vertical alignment, Ctrl plus D to deselect. Then I'm going to duplicate the letter there, Ctrl plus J to duplicate, bring it down. Then copy this one, Ctrl plus C, select your test tool. Then I'm going to make it regular. Then highlight it, Ctrl plus V to paste. Then reduce the font size. Then highlight it, apply vertical alignment, then Ctrl plus D to deselect. Use your arrow key then to drag it up. Then you will have something like this. Then use your arrow key then to move it up this way. Then the next thing I'm going to do now, I'm going to select my rent angle. Then I'll draw this one like this. All right. Then I'm going to copy this code here. Then this is also the color. Now I'm going to duplicate this one, Ctrl plus J to duplicate. Then hold your sh shift key while you drag it this way. Then I'm going to duplicate this one, Ctrl plus J. Then take this one up. Then hold your shift key. Then I'll drag this one over here. Now select this one and I'm going to change the color to white like this then use your arrow key then to move it up now having done this one the next thing i'm going to do now then i'm going to copy this test here ctrl plus c to copy then select your test tool then i'm going to highlight this way Then Ctrl plus V to paste. Then for the font, I'm going to copy this color code here. Ctrl plus C to copy. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. Now I'm going to change the font. Then I'm going to use this font here, Arrows BT. 
then change it to italic bold then i will drop it over here then select it now i'm going to increase it so that all the letter will contain now i'm going to apply the alignment to be center for the test then click ok now i'm going to reduce it all right so this is the outcome of it now what i'm going to do now i'm going to select all of them and i will reduce it like this then increase this side this size okay then i will select the rest letter then i'm going to group it then highlight it apply vertical alignment then ctrl plus d to deselect then this is what you will have then i'm going to reduce this one this way is okay then i'm going to bring in this rent angle design then i'll bring it down over here and I will reduce the size then use your arrow key then to drag it up also move it into this group here all right so we are done on this one now so the next thing I'm going to do now then I'm going to select this one, then this one, then I'll move it, drag it over here, then open this one while I'll put it inside a group, then also group this one. Okay, all right. Then go back to your resource file and I'm going to bring this one. Then reduce the size. I will position this one over here. Then go to your filter, then blur, version blur. Then I will leave it at 4.4. Then duplicate it, Ctrl plus J. Then bring this one over here. Then right click and flip it horizontal, then dig way. Then I'm going to duplicate the two control plus J to duplicate. And I will drag it up. Then I'll position this one over here. Then why I will take this one here yeah, will be okay. I will leave it over there then on this image i'm going to duplicate it ctrl plus j to duplicate then i will select the back one then rasterize it hold your ctrl plus shift key then you press u then you will see that it is now black and white then i'll take it beyond this cycle now what i will do is to reduce the opacity 14 is okay i will leave it at 14. okay so then i'm going to select this one reduce it then position it position it around here okay now after this one so the next thing i'm going to bring this one Reduce the size and I will position it around here. Reduce the name, then I'll position this one around here. Reduce it. 
it's okay now double click the smart object what you will do now also double click here to open your layer style then apply this color overlay white then close it then yes to save it then this is the outcome of it all right then go back again and i'm going to bring this one then i will reduce the size and i'll position it around the end double click the smart object double click the layer then go to your color overlay then apply white then click ok close it yes to save it then this is the outcome okay then i'm going to bring this one reduce the size then position it over here double click the smart object double click the layer go to your color overlay then i'm going to copy this color code then apply the color code then adjust it okay like this then close it and save it now i'm going to duplicate the control plus j to duplicate then you reduce the size then i'll position this one around here duplicate it again control plus j then i will take this one somewhere here then reduce the size something like this all right now i'm going to do some adjustment i will select this one then increase the size then i'll place this design over here i'll bring this one down to this position then this one I'll bring this one down over here. Then I will group this smart object. Before then, I'm going to select some of these smart objects. And I will remove some, like this one. I'm going to bring it down. Okay. Then I will also adjust this one and position it around the end. Reduce the size. Then also reduce the size of this one. Then move this one over here. Okay. Then this image, then take it back over here. Then place this one around here. I will adjust the color of this one. Then I'm going to make this one 100. Then also the top one 100. It's okay like this. Then I will select all this one and group it as the background. Okay, so as you can see, that is all about this tutorial. Then if you like this tutorial, please kindly share and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to click on the link to join my membership on YouTube. And if you need any of my flyer design, please you can go to my Fiverr account and make your order. Then also there is a link there to optimize your YouTube channel. Then select the two body over there and create your own account as well as to create your own account on Fiverr. Thank you so much for following. I really appreciate.